What's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Key to the City, and I'm back with another banger. <laughs> you already know. Yeah, bro, like, your boy just got home, got out the shower, all that good stuff, bro. Long day at work. Like I said, they're working us like slaves, but nevertheless, man, so we'll get right into it. First of all, I want to say, bro, if you like this video, bro, hit that like button. Smash that subscribe button. Hey, show your keep showing your support to your boy. I appreciate it, man. I also, I want to take the time out to thank all my subscribers for taking the time out your day to actually watch my videos, to actually leave your comments. To every comment you all uh, leave me, I'm actually going back and I'm actually answering all of them and replying and all that good stuff. But yeah, man. Let's get right into it. I do not want to hold you all too long. All right, so last Tuesday was my birthday. Uh, your boy just turned 25. I know, I know, yeah. I'm still young, and I'm getting a lot older, I feel like. But, yeah, nevertheless, so my girl uh, decided to surprise me with a trip. All right, so we took off to, like, Nashville. Uh, Nashville, Tennessee. We took off to Nashville, Tennessee. It was a shock to me. I wasn't expecting it. But, you know, on our way there, you know, we just stopped at different little places, different little towns. And, like, yeah, man. So, I'm just going to give you a recap of some of the things I picked up. Not everything, because, you know, obviously I had to hit up the Nike outlet. I had to. And, like, first thing first, we went to, what's the name? I don't know. It was, I think it was a Tangler outlet, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, we went out there. First place we went to was Fossil, the Fossil Outlet, you know, the Fossil Store, whatever. I want to call it Outlet so bad. It was in the Tangler Outlet, but it's the Fossil Store. And I went in there. I was able to pick up a pick up a watch. I picked up a watch that I've been looking for for like five years. I didn't. They actually stopped making it, but like I, they had a re, they had a refurbished section. And, uh, yeah, they had the watch that I'm looking for. And the time is not sought on this bad boy. Be real, which is not. But, yeah, a fossil dean. I could have been ordering me one online, but I wasn't sure if I was getting a legit watch. And everybody knows the only watch I normally wear are fossils. Um, because fossil makes so many other brands, like Michael Core. Our money, our money exchange, uh, shoot, so many different brands. DKNY, Misfit, they make so many different brands of watches. So stop paying all your money for a Microcore watch when you can just get a Fossil, because Fossil is actually the brand that actually make the watch. But yeah, I was able to pick up my Fossil Dean, re a refurbished one, because like I said, you can't hardly get a new one. If you order it online, I'm not sure if it's real, so I don't know, but it works good for me. And it also came with a warranty. That shocked me. So I didn't know that. <clears throat> All right. And I'm out way to show you the rest. So I picked up three watches. Like, actually, my girl bought me that fossil dune. So then we went to um, another place. Uh, what it was? It was an outlet store. It was like, was it Green? It was a Green Hill? No, it wasn't Green Hill. Green Hill sell Rolexes and all that good stuff. So we went to another fossil store in another state. I'm not going to tell exactly what state. Uh, I've been to, but you might kind of figure that. Okay, I'm from here, I'm from here, whatever. But I picked up this bad boy, and I was just amazed when I picked up this one, too. Fossil, they never, ever make a watch for real. Well, they don't make many watches with a red face, gold with a red face. So that was something special to me. And, I, and that watch was on, like, the buy one. I me mean, buy two, get it for $98. So I had to pick up another one to make that deal. And I got this one. You know, I like this one too. Very clean watch. I like that. Something different. Just hasn't been out no longer than like two months. And the other one, it just dropped. Like, it just dropped last month. This one's been out two months. And then this one been out a month. One month, two months. Yeah. Then my girl, you know, she got two watches too, but I don't have her stuff with me. But, uh, yeah. So, that's that. And I always just keep my watches in like a little travel bag. Depending on what I'm taking. So I might take three watches with me. I just keep it in a little travel bag. All right, next, we finally hit up Nike. 
So we, I went to three different three different Nike outlets. All right, and uh, the first outlet we went to, I was able to pick up. Man, I was pick. I picked up these shoes. And I was like, bruh, do I really need these, or I'm just really trying to pick up something? Like, what can I really use these for? So I picked up the <clears throat> Kill Shot Two leather. Size 14, my size. All right, so I picked it up on a hash wall. So it was on sale for $69.99 with an additional 30% off. So I did that. The Nike kill, the Nike 2 kill shots. I don't know if you all a big fan of this shoe. Comment below if you think it's a big, if you think you like this shoe or you a fan of this shoe or whatever. This is the sale color wave with the gum bottom. I'm not gonna lie to you, when I picked it up, I thought it was a blazer. And I was like, bro, blazers come in orange boxes. So I'm a little confused. But yeah, man, it has some decent leather on it. It's not the best leather out of one through 10. What I think this leather is, probably a four. It's not the best leather, but it's not the worst leather either. So I picked up, we went to another outlet, all these outlets together, but it's just another Nike outlet. I picked up a shirt, you know what I'm saying? A little Just Do It shirt. And this is not the shirt that you see Two for twenty-five. This shirt actually was on a clearance rack, and it's nine ninety-nine with an additional thirty percent off. So I think I paid like six dollars or seven dollars for this shirt. You can see the tag. I don't know if you can see that in there. Yeah, it's nine ninety-nine. Whatever. That's that one. Then of course, I picked up the ones off two for twenty-five. You know, a little something, something. You know, a little something, something. That's that one. And then I picked up this one because I haven't actually just seen a color like this. So I went with this one too. And also, yeah, I had a birthday coupon too, but it was 10% off of anything over $100. So obviously when I bought the shoes, I had to buy another, uh, some more things, some more items. So what I decided to do, I went back and I bought a PSG sweater. And uh, I really don't feel like going to get that sweater. <laughs> I just put like a picture up there to let you know how I look. It's nothing too crazy. I think the sweater was $80 with 30% off. So I, I think with that total of the shoes and a sweater, I think I paid, I'll let you know exactly what I paid. 101, $100, no, $101.11. That was dead. So, you know, next, you know, we went to uh, Lids. And my girl, like, you know what? She's like, everybody know I'm a major Steelers fan. I'm a Pittsburgh Steelers fan. Yeah. By the time we let go Ben, bro. Ben was too old. We had, we got we got our best years out of Ben. But I did manage to get me a new Pittsburgh Steelers snapback. I love snapbacks, bro. 100% love snapbacks. I can't do the fittings. I have too much hair for that. But yeah, snapbacks. Love that hat. Got to get the bill and stuff right. But yeah. So my girl, she said, "All right, I, I buy this one for your birthday, and you buy and you buy this one, bro, bro." The throwback Los Angeles Lakers hat, bro. I've been looking for this hat everywhere. I kid you not. I looked on Liz online. I looked on uh. All the like the NBA websites. I looked on New Era. I could not find this hat, bro, in a snapback. All of them was fitted. Snapback, bro. New Era snapback. I don't know how much this hat what it was. Thirty five ninety nine. I don't know what that was paid out the tax. I don't know. But yes, man, this hat right here is. I was looking for this particular hat because I had a Kobe Bryant throwback jersey, bro. The Kobe Bryant throwback jersey. I don't feel like going to get it. So I will put a picture of it right there. And this hat right here is going to kill that outfit. It's going to kill that fit. Plus, I got some new J's. It's at my parents' house. They just came in. Stay tuned. A video will come soon with that about that. Bruh, I'm so excited to wear this. Even though I'm sleeping, because I've been working alone. I've been working all day. I had a lot of stuff the gym and everything. It's been crazy, chaotic. Yes, bro. Thank you, bae. I appreciate you, bae. Came through with this hat, bae. Oh, we came through with this one and this one. I don't know if I'm more happy for this one or this one. I feel like I can always get a Steelers hat, so 
And this hat was super hard to get. And plus, you bought it for him. No, you bought this one for me. But, you know, you get the gist. I appreciate it, buddy. I don't know. I'm not going to put a price tag on it. R.I.P. Kobe. R.I.P. Black Mamba. Bro. All right. So, last but not least, what else did I pick up from the outlet? So, we in uh, Nashville. It's our last day out there in Nashville. You know, i never been to Nashville, which I love the place, bro. I got to go back. I got to go back. I have to go back. Mandatory. Mandatory. So, obviously, bro, my last day at the outlet. You know, so it's been a crazy day. We've been gone like two or three days. We're just chilling. So, she was like, you want, what you want to do today? I'm like, let's hit the mall up. Because somehow that mall, it doesn't like, it doesn't have a Nike outlet in Nashville. It has a it has a Nike clearance store inside of the mall. So it's like a out, it's an outlet mall. That's what they called it. So, you know, that's also what I picked up the other two fossil watches from. The one the gold one with the red face and the uh and the, what is it? This is where I picked these two at, right? Pick these two watches up. This one and this one. Just they just put it out, they had two left. They sold out literally when they put them out on the head two little. And I got the last one because the other worker there, he had the other one on his wrist. So, yeah, I got the last one. <clears throat> and they sold out quick. And they only had them in like a day. They sold out quick. But anyway, yeah, I got these, these two watches from there. So, like, I'm very happy with that. So, yeah, I'm beating around the bush, bro. I'm beating around the bush. Stay, stay with me. So, obviously, my last day there. Bro, I've never got like a mad steal at an outlet. Never. You know, because everybody want to be a reseller now. Nothing sits on shelves. And this may not be the best shoe, but I I just went with it. I went with it. So, yeah. She was like, yeah, you, let's go to the outlet. I like, let's go to the mall. I didn't know they had a Nike uh, clearance store in the mall, so that was new to me. So I walk up in there. Quick story. I walk up in there. It's a, uh, it's a woman, and I guess a man or a boyfriend or maybe her husband. Uh, she was in there. She was just going crazy. Like, she's like, I don't like those. I don't like those. I don't like those. Me personally, I'm trying to buy my girl something. And she constantly saying she don't like anything. I'm not going to buy her anything. That's just how it should be. If I'm trying to spend my hard-earned money on you and you're constantly getting mad, I shouldn't buy you anything. Anything. So, yeah. So, she just had to pass up on this shoe. And just last eight and a half in women's, my mother's size. She just decided to pass up on it until I go up there and I pick it up. She's like, oh, I want. No, it's too late now. Like, bro, let me get it. I want this shoe. I want this shoe. And nevertheless, it's my first ever Nike dunk ever in the outlet, bro. I don't, I don't, I don't pick up. I haven't picked up anything in the outlet really worth anything. So, yeah, man, I don't even know what to call these. I promise you, I do not know what to call these, bro, but these are some dunks. I guess the Cheetah Blanche Dunks. I don't know. But, bro, with the discount, this dunk actually was 30% off. And they're so freaking white, I can't even just, like, give you, like, a clear visual of it. Now, I don't know about this Nike swoosh, but my mom, she's going to wear it. It's summertime. It goes with the summer vibes a little bit. So, yeah. But I paid $77 for this shoe. $77 for a dunk. I don't care if it's not a hype dunk or whatever. It can be a good customizable shoe. You can customize this shoe or whatever. But yeah, man, $77 for a Nike dunk. You think I'm about to, you think I'm about to lead it? No, nah, no, nah, can't do it. But yeah, man, that lady, that she was just going crazy. Like, I want it, I want it, I want it. I was like, bro, like, don't even do that. Stop all that. Like, you're making a big scene for nothing. You're not, obviously, you're not getting this shoe. You had the opportunity to get it. You didn't want it. Hey, that's your fault. Hey, I'm grown. You grown. Act like it. I'm not about to get. I'm not about to get into it with somebody over a shoe. Like no, and I'm not bagging down from anybody either. That's just not. That's not in my blood. But anyway, yeah. Nevertheless, bro. <laughs> I appreciate you, lady, for acting a fool. But I still got the shoe. I just casually grabbed the shoe and I walked off. You know. You keep, I'm, I left her over there just mad, yelling, whatever. I'm like, yeah, appreciate it. I got the shoe. <laughs> Thank you. But nah, bro, this your boy, Key to the City, bro. Help me, help you, help me. Hey, I just want to bring y'all something to the channel. Keep living your dreams. Keep believing yourself.